914 with Mark Ed and Sergeant Sam. Good morning. On Friday in Port St. Lucie, Florida, a kindergarten teacher was reportedly fed up with one of her students' bad behavior. So she had him stand up and then told everybody else in the class, each of you individually will tell everybody in the room what you think of this kid. Then we're going to take a vote on what to do with him. By a margin of 14 to 2, the students voted to kick him out of the class. So the teacher sent him to the nurse's office, yeah. and he spent the rest of the day in the nurse's office. Oh, poor teacher. You know they're going to come down on her just with a box of rocks. They're going to right up beside the head. Poor teacher, poor kid. That. What about the kid? Kid's disruptive, totally disrupting the entire class. Kid should be removed. He should be removed, but shouldn't be removed in that manner. Good gosh. Think of the lifelong. How old is this kid? <laughs> Kindergarten? Yes. Think of the lifelong scars if, if he's going to go, well, you don't like me, Look Sally. at the scars he's Joy. put on the other kids. Oh, baloney, Sam. Oh, well, I've seen now. some of these disruptive the, kids. The, what they the teacher did was outrageous, and it was in bad taste and bad form, and I can't believe she's a teacher after doing that. Man, used to, they'd have stuck his little butt right in the corner with a hat on his head. They should have done it. I, I got no problems with that. Let the teacher deal with it. Well, but hey, this is, this no, is should like, be in trouble for that nowadays. This is nowadays. like George Orwell. This is like George Orwellian stuff, you know, where it's kids against kids and uh, little kids, and you got clubs, you beat them up and stuff. Oh, This is Melissa Barton. She's the mother of the five-year-old who was voted out of the class by his fellow students. And so she stands, my little five-year-old boy, up in front of all of his peers and individually asks each child to tell Alex what we don't like about him. And in his word, it's, it was tell Alex what we hate about him. So the vote was 14 to 2. We don't want him in the classroom anymore. Yep. Mom says, my son is never going back to that school. And never should. Yeah. She wants her revenge on that teacher. Oh, yeah. She probably wants a pile she of money, sh- too. She should get it. I hope she doesn't get a pile of money, but the teacher yeah. at, at least should be reprimanded. You don't treat kids that way. Good gosh. Five-year-old kids? Can you, you know, imagine? We've gotten so pansy when it comes to dealing Come with on, kids. Come on, Sam. That's not pansy. Yeah, that, that's that, that's that's poor parenting. That's outrageous behavior by an adult to a five-year-old kid. That's not nothing to do with you pansy. Know, it, it was probably in poor taste, but I'll tell you what. I am so sick and tired of, and it's report after report after report. you got one or two kids in the class that keeps the other kids from learning. And yet they Get are them four, out. They, you can't. You can't. She did. Yeah, I know, and she's in trouble. Well, the way she did it, she's it in trouble. It doesn't matter if she'd have kicked that kid out and put him in the deal for it, it the It does day. matter the way it, she did it, She'd have still been in trouble. It does matter the way she still did it. Still been in trouble. Here's Dave in South Austin on KLBJ. Good morning, Dave. What about these ki- all the kids that want to learn, that are trying to learn? Sure. You could take, and this is from long years of experience, you take one kid, just the right spiritual leader, out of that class, and you won't even know it. I think what the you got to be kidding me. You, you can do this. Absolutely, yes, you oh, can. Oh my lord, it's a five-year-old kid, sir. It doesn't matter. Well, maybe a five-year-old not, but I guarantee you, you take the right kid out of any given class. A lot of time, you won't even know it. And that's thirty years of experience. Ed, how much you got? What do you mean, got? So, what are you talking about? He's well, a teacher. I'm a teacher. Thank, you aren't. Thank goodness you were never. I never had. To, you you got to be kidding me, sir. You condone that. Yeah. To verbally assault a five-year-old hey, kid you know, it te- with lifelong scars, and he goes to school with these kids, knowing well, if somebody, that kid over there says, "You're, you know, I can't believe if, you're if, if someone doesn't correct it, he's going to create his own." Scars. You think that should be done in, in our business here too? That we ought to line up. You we're do having, it every morning. We're having a meeting at ten you o'clock. You berate me every <laughs> <having> morning, Ed. <laughs> it's not personal, Sam. It's business. I think you're a wonderful person. I think you're a great man. I disagree with your policies, but if you lined up all your employees, okay. Come here, Todd Jeffries. What don't you like about Mark Caesar? Go ahead. It's okay. You can we say don't have enough you want time to. to go into that. <laughs> All right, let's listen you again. Know what I mean? Let's listen again. We have two cuts from the mother, Melissa Barton. Uh, here's the first one describing what the teacher asked the kids to do. She told me that this is her way of correcting his behavior, and so she stands my little five-year-old boy up in front of all of his peers and individually asks each child to tell Alex what we don't like about him. And in his word, it's, it was tell Alex what we hate about him. And the mother says it was very distressing because one of the kids is a good friend of her little boy. The child must have felt either threatened or coerced into saying, yeah, he needs to go. And then he went on to say that Alex eats his shoestrings and therefore he's annoying. And this is Alex's only friend in the world. 
eats his shoestring. His only friend in the world. That ought to tell you something, lady, right there. If your child has only one friend in the world, that man. You know, and you know, there's something I don't hear a male voice anywhere involved in this. A male voice? What do you yeah, mean? Like daddy. The daddy? Mm-hmm. Well, daddy's probably working hard to find him another school to go to so he can pay big bucks for a private working school. Working hard to pay child support. 836. Because, <laughs> you know, single mothers can't do it. They just can't raise kids. Single like mothers have a to. very hard time raising kids. If you don't believe it, ask them. I know, but why do you indict single mothers with that? I don't. I am indicting statement. the dad. Get it? Well, get it. Maybe they're not a dad to be around. Get it. Here is well, Bill. Yeah. Bill on uh, McNeil on KLBJ. Good morning, Bill. Hey, good morning, guys. How you doing? Fine, thank you. Yeah, I agree with uh, what the teacher did. I, you know, I think it's a perfect age to start disciplining them that way and teaching them. And uh, he's not old enough to be stigmatized by it, but he's old enough to learn that you can't act that way. And I think Ed is totally naive for even thinking what he's thinking right now. No, I'm not naive, sir. My gosh, can you imagine scars? Even from what five- kind of scars? I mean, he's five years old. I mean, if he was if he was ten or fifteen, they stood him up and did that. You know, it might he might stig- be stigmatized, but at five, he's just going to learn that, that that's the way you got to be. Boy, act- well, that's not a great world. If the that's kid the way you got to a- be. Kid, if the kid keeps acting that way, he's going to yeah. be stigmatized. The kid that's is right. going to be shunned. He's going to be ridiculed. But he's and, young and, enough and, now to learn that, that if you don't act that way, and, and we know with other people. Yeah. But Bill, I agree he shouldn't act that way. i got no problem with that, Bill. And the teacher should have removed him, but... You don't do that to kids. You don't go up and well, abuse who do you them do that to? way. Who do you do it to after they uh, commit a murder, you know? Oh, come on, sir. Aren't you Good remove, Lord. You remove You're as loony as Sam. Come on now, Bill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Sam's on, Bill. right on. Sam's right on. Oh, my God. Time, That's a scary know? society if Bill and Dill and Dave and <laughs> Sam, you're, it's a four horsemen of Notre Dave. Dame. Sometimes the I four horsemen of Notre Dame. Oh, my Back Lord. in our time, we didn't put up that kind of gold. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bill. Uh, appreciate it. Boy, howdy. Let's go to Shelly on Mopac. What about all this, Shelly? Sergeant Sam, I'm so disappointed right now. I mean, you really just broke my heart. The fact that this little boy has one friend, I just started listening. I just turned on my radio a few minutes ago. But did, have y'all talked about the fact that this child probably has Asperger's, which is a form of autism, and is in the process of being evaluated by the school to see if that is truly what's going on? I actually know the mom from a support group because I'm a single mother of a child with Asperger's, Sergeant Sam. You, wait, 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 wait. Shelly, wait, wait, Shelly. Wait, wait, wait. You, you, Shelly, hang, hang on, hang on. You, you personally know this woman? I've ta- I know her from... The support group that I'm a part of on Yahoo, there's an Asperger support group on Yahoo that all uh, us parents of children with Asperger's are, are there to support each okay, other. Okay, I'm going to ask you a very personal question. Why is that kid in mainstream classrooms? Because Asperger's doesn't mean that it's a, it, it's a high-functioning form of autism. It's not autism where it, yeah, but it, it sounds like he's pretty high-functioning, all right. He's very disruptive. He, yeah, he, he probably is disruptive, but he's in the process of being evaluated from the school, and there are things that they can do and interventions that they can do to help him so he can have better ways of communicating and not be so disruptive. What? But for, uh, you know, for you're, a you're teacher, speaking... no, wait a second, Sergeant Sam, for a teacher to put that child up in front of the classroom and get the kids to say what they don't like about this little boy who might be trying – his heart is to do the right thing, but has communication problems. Doesn't perceive things the way that you are. You're or assuming I an awful things. lot of things just because. No, I know my son has Aspergers. Okay, my talk son had about a lot of problems talk, when he was younger as well. Talk and about so, your son, not hers, because you're speaking I've, for her. I've just, yeah, because she's part of the Asperger support. I don't group care. I'm a part she of. could be part of a million people, but speak in the vernacular with your kid and what you personally have not. She has. That's not true. That doesn't. I don't have to walk through the exact same path as someone else to be able to talk to it or to be able to support. That's but uh, big... but Shelley, Shelley, he has not been uh, diagnosed yet, right? He has. He's being evaluated for it. Yes. But he has he's not been, been diagnosed. Of, he has not been officially diagnosed, okay. but his kindergarten at the age of five could be, I mean, that's when all of these things start to come together and you really start to see the issues with communication and the differences between him and his peers, and there are things that they can do to make it better, but shaming him and humiliating him in front of his other kids, 
That is absolutely unacceptable, and it's ridiculous. It has nothing to do with her being a single mom or anything else. All right, uh, Shelly, thank you.